Hi everyone and welcome back to part 2 of the video. My name is David Bayliss and I work as an automotive artist specialized in real-time rendering. The main softwares that I use are Autodesk 3ds Max for the modeling, Unreal Engine for the rendering parts and then Lightroom for the final touches. So in part 1 of the videos we used a single RTX A6000 using Unreal Engine in Path Tracer mode. The scene that was used contained over 50 million triangles, which was no problem for the RTX A6000. We were able to output 12K resolution renders without hitting the VRAM limits. My RTX A6000 is paired with an Intel i9-12900K and 32GB of DDR5 RAM, which is a great combination. My daily programs though rely much more on GPU computation such as CUDA accelerated hardware or RT cores for real-time ray tracing where the A6000 shines. Now this is the NVLink and this is going to be used to bridge my two GPUs together in order to scale memory and performance in the selected applications. This means programs such as NVIDIA Omniverse or Unreal Engine can benefit from multi-GPUs to render frames faster. NVLink will also combine your GPU memory, which in this case gives me 96GB of VRAM in total. So here we are back in Unreal Engine 5 with our Porsche GT3, this time in a warehouse environment. The environment is this time custom modeled with added scan geometry mostly for the background. Here you can see the mesh density as known as the Nanite View Mode in Unreal Engine 5, showing how dense my scene is, but still running perfectly fine on the A6000. Now here's the advantage of using dual GPU. It takes almost 1 minute to render past trace at 500 samples on a single A6000. Now let's take a look at this using NVLink with dual A6000. We are seeing a 50% speed increase using two GPUs, which will save us considerable amount of time for animation. Okay, so now to recap, with one single GPU, I was able to achieve pretty substantial results. From using high density polygon in my scene, running at real time 60 frames per second, up to outputting 12K resolution without hitting the VRAM limits. Now, adding a second GPU to the mix using the NVLink, I was able to double my VRAM, allowing me to add some heavy particle simulation in my scene without compromising the quality. But what I could do also is cut my render times by 50%, allowing me to be more efficient in my everyday work. I hope you enjoyed this part 2 of the RTX Extreme Series video and hope to see you very soon.